Well, that's breaking and entering, you know. Don't be soppy. Well, what else would you call it? Borrowing. <laughs> <laughs> well, if she wanted to turn nafty, it's a put away job. What else could I do? You weren't going to lend me the money, were you? Oh. I don't believe you, Robbo. How else could I get her to stay, then? Well, I don't think she wants to. Of course she does. It's just a question of persuasion. But I'm not in a very strong position at the moment. You can say that again. <sighs> Geordie, I'm going to sort it all out. Sort it out. Sort it out? You couldn't sort out a completed jigsaw puzzle. You're a mess, man. A mess and a messer. A messer? Aye, oh, find my way, I chop your hands off. Geordie, I know what I'm doing. Oh, don't make me laugh. It'll work out in the end. Nothing right. You know you've not got a thing right since the day I first met you. What are you talking about? Everything you've touched has it, turned to cow punch. Hold up, will ya? You threw away the most beautiful girl in the world. You did all your savings. Now you've had a maid mug. That's not true. And now you've gone and nicked a necklace. I haven't nicked it. You what? I borrowed it. Oh, I will try saying that in front of a judge. I bought the bloody thing in the first place. Why, oh, I bought my wife's wedding ring, but that doesn't make it mine. Geordie, it's going to work out, believe me. It's got to. All right, we're here. I can offer you, I'm afraid, sir. I still don't believe it. 
Well, we'll make the journey as comfortable as possible. It is over the other side of the world, sir. So. I didn't think I'd have to pay by the inch, that's all. So how will it take to make the arrangements, sir? Uh, we'll send a telex now, sir. But when can she get on a plane? Well, as soon as she likes. The first seat that's available. Departing Sydney, Saturday, arriving Heathrow Sunday morning? Yes, yeah, Sunday, yeah. Good. Urgent, is it? Her grandmother. Oh, it'll be there within the hour, sir. We've been expecting it, but it's difficult, you know, when you have to face the, the final truth. And um, Debbie, that's my, my daughter in Australia. She's going to take it worst of all. Oh, is she? Well, she more or less brought her up, you see. After my wife died. Oh, that's terrible. She was only a baby. Well, what made her go to Australia? She married this sailor on the Ark Royal. They sort of drift away from you, don't they? Anyway, thank you very much. Can you just tell her to pop into our office in Sydney? Thank you. I'll explain all the circumstances in the telex, sir. I'm sure they'll have every sympathy. Thank you. You've been very kind. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, Ark Royal, you say? He, he jumped ship in Adelaide. Sugar? Um, no, thanks. Uh, he's out somewhere, I think. Oh, Robbie. I'm sorry. I'm going back, Tommy. Sydney? Yeah. I couldn't just go, could I? I mean... Not without. Not without telling him you was going? Yeah, something like that. How about you then? My license suit you. Mm, foot's in the other boot, isn't it? What do you mean? Well, if I goes to work, I stop at home. But you're retired. Oh, that's not the point. Here you are. Go on. Have the chocolate one. Oh, go on, you have it. Oh. You enjoy it really though, don't you? No. Oh, come on. I was hoping you was going to stay. No, no, it wouldn't have worked. Wouldn't it? No. Shame. I shouldn't have come back, Tommy. Sydney. We'll miss you. I shall miss you too. How about Robbie? One, six. Well, I've got Debbie to think of, haven't I? I mean, I can't leave her there on her own, can I? Yes, I suppose you can't. She like it? Yeah, she loves it. Yeah, I bet she does. Listen, I know it's soppy, I know it's expensive, but I've had a bit of a result, so look on it as a joyride. Come and see her mates, come and see more. Before she gets married. Is Maureen getting married? No, no, no. Look, is there something wrong? Oh. Is Mum all right? Of course, yes. There's something wrong and you don't want to tell me. No, no, look, there's nothing wrong, I promise. No. Look, I've got to be honest with you. I've let you down. I've let I've let you both down. There's nothing I can do to put it right. I know that. But if you could just come over here for a few days, I'm not living in Manchester, you know. 
there's just a chance, you see, there's just a possibility that we might get together permanently, you know, the old gold band. Never. Well, why didn't you say so? Well, it's a bit hush-hush, you know, superstitious, that sort of thing. Superstitious? You... Look, it's all arranged. Tomorrow morning, go and get your ticket. But, Rob... Sunday morning. Rob? Robbie? Well, you never know, do you? Is Mum in? No. <laughs> oh, God. Sounds like a telephone, doesn't it? <laughs> Expensive things, are they? Hey? Don't know. Never use it. Mm. Look at that, Robbo. Look at that. It's a potato. <laughs> the old Billy Doos, they crop up quarterly, do they? Quarterly? Annually? How long do you think it took to grow that? How should I know? <laughs> you think they grow on barrels, don't you? It may only be a potato to you, mate, but it's perfection to me. Where's Mum? Is she uh, down the market? Yeah, I expect so. Just so I, uh, I wanted to do me a bit of a favour. <laughs> Seems a pity to eat it, doesn't it? Mm, yeah. Walter Raleigh, mate. You what? All down to him. What are you talking about? Oh, he brought it back with him, didn't he? From his travels. Did he? Yeah, from abroad. No, 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 no. That was uh, tobacco. I heard the record. And potatoes. Right, I'll be off then. Right. Oh, Jan was round. Was she? Yeah. She's off, you know. Is she? Yeah. You missed out there, didn't you, Robbie boy? Not yet, Tom. Not yet, son. <laughs> yeah. Seems a pity to peel it. Yeah. In the obituaries, are you? Oh. Hello, sir. Uh, can I have uh, half a lager and a beer, please? Sir? Yes. Sir. You're a scavenger. That's what you are. You rag and bone people all alike. Yeah, now you just watch it. Hey, listen, I've just come from up home. Tommy's getting the dinner ready. Is he complaining again? Ah, it's a month. It's been a bit difficult lately. I mean, well. I just got to learn to adjust, that's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, what's wrong? Yes. You can't get used to me having a job. Aren't you? Neither can I. Do you know he's still got stuff stashed in his suitcase? Well, give it time, mate. Oh, I haven't got all that time left, mate. Oh, come off of you in your jeans road, he said. Listen, I'm coming quickly. Yeah. Oh, oh. Sometimes I don't think we should have done it. There most of the time anyway. We didn't need no ring to go to Jaywick Sands. Well, it's early days, isn't it? Nobody thinks I've tied him down. I only tried to make him freer. Can't see that, the silly old sod. Oh, it was too comfortable. Now we've got to sign in somebody else's patch of nettles. What are you doing here anyway? Eh? Oh, a favour. I ain't taking no money this morning. No, not that sort of favour. That side of my life's all right. Oh, that makes a change. No, I'm getting myself back to the top of the heap, and this time I'm going to stay there. Now, what I want you to do is invite Jan round for dinner on Sunday. You know, good old English roast at Yorkshire. What? You're up to something. Just invite her round, but don't mention me. But it's going to be a surprise. What? I'm not going to tell you. You know what you're like with secrets. I'll see you Sunday.
was trying to get you. You weren't in. Carl Wood. Get away from me, will you? I was a misunderstanding. Some misunderstanding. Oh, he thought he was doing me a favour. Did he? A bit soppy, that's all. I went to the same school, did you? Something like that, yeah. Look, I just wanted to... Uh... Sort things out while you have. She doesn't want you. Nothing to do with me. She doesn't want you. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You're right. Just that we were married, that's all. Makes you sentimental. Married? In a manner of speaking. One night in the nest, and you think it's a lifetime, don't you? It wasn't quite like that. Listen, she's leaving Monday. Packing Sunday? And spending the rest of her time with me. But packing Sunday? Yes, packing Sunday. Stop playing silly buggers, will you? I will, Mr. Grover. I will. <laughs> you want to forget about women and stick the cars? Can't be you talking, Kenny. Well, my situation's different. Is it? It's more like a marriage, isn't it? Is it? Of course. Evening, Toffee. She's not here. Oh, I'll buy you a little scotch to cry in. Come on, come on. Fancy going out for one? No, I don't think so. Oh. Thought you might. <laughs> Busy day at the office. Yeah. Not easy, you know. why he wanted her here. Perhaps he's going down on his benders. <laughs> that to be the day. You sure you wouldn't like one? Mm, I'm sure. Perhaps he's going to kidnap her. Look, if you want to go out for one, go out. No. I'll just soon stop in. Don't bother about me. I won't. John, look. I'll meet her at the airport. Keep her out of the way till Jan's round at Mum's. Then rat a tat tat. Good morning. You're taking a risk. Why? Well, she might go into one. <sighs> well, you know what they say about love and war? Yeah, it's a mug's game. What do you reckon the turnover is here, then? Not worth the town. Yeah. Liquor paint? Well, are you going into the decorating business? <laughs> I say game Saturday night? It depends how well I do Friday night. What about you, Box? Uh, no, I'm meeting somebody at the airport Sunday morning. So? Well, it could stop me sleeping in. Oh, please yourself. <coughs> here, Di. Uh, where's the young lady tonight? Late. Bloody women. How's business, then, Tapo? It's a bloody gold mine, as you can see. Well, cheers. Here's to a tasty Sunday. Eh? I'm glad he's shut tomorrow. Shouldn't have changed your mind. Yeah, well. Where are you going? Television's free. Listen, I've got a game with a Welshman tonight. Yeah. Do you fancy propping up the bar with me for half hour, do you? Oh, oh, oh hey, Grunt. Watch it, son. Leave it, Tony. Leave it. Come on, you. Get that out there, will you? Yeah, we're just going. We're just Oi. going. You didn't have dandruff. Bite your head off. What? For a minute, then, I thought it was going to be off at all meetings. Sicky sod. I ain't got an affair to have dandruff. I oh, know karate! You shouldn't think it was a monkey's ear, you know. Just a bit on it, that's all. Just take it easy, will it? Right, you know you do. Yeah, well, let's just go on. Simple now. Yeah. Right. There's nobody in there now. Come on. Right, you sorted now? Yeah, I'm sorted now, yeah. Just take it easy. Right. right. Let's go to work. You'd have to come back, Monday. We're closed. We know. Don't do anything silly, will you? Hold on, Joe. We got them tosses out. Yeah. All gone. The old 
What's the matter with you? You've seen a ma? Hello, sunshine. Jesus. Come on. Now, shift around the front. Come on. Get around the front. Go on, Come on. Get around the front. Go on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You could be seeing them a lot quicker than you think. Sounds like somebody's just bumped off Gill. Impossible. He's dead already, isn't he? <laughs> Boy! Boy! Where's you going? Out! Come on, let's get out of here! Come on! The press will be crying in a minute! Leave it! Leave it! Shut up listen! Dinner. What? I've left his dinner. What are you talking about? I left his dinner behind in Gill's. I thought he lived on Guinness. I bought him a nice piece of liver before I did me lot on the 4.30. Always do that. Always? I can't let him go without, can I? I mean, it ain't his fault if I do me conkers, I don't it? believe you, Ferry. I can't let him drink on an empty stomach. Come on. Come on. Go on. Come on. Right, where is it? Where's what? The money on your stupid cow. Where's this soon until? He's got. And in his safe in his office. Geese. Where he's got him. Home. We've just come out. Well, he's counting his money, isn't he? Gil, I've left his dinner and he's not too pleased. Oh, it's buried. You what? One of the pants have. Gil, you can't be shut. I've just come out and you were open. Oh, come on, Gil, do us a favour, will you? Hey, bolt your lips. If that liver goes off, so will your customers. Come on, will you? Come on, Gil, I want that dinner. Right when you're nicking our money, innit? Door opens like a Lenin's cave. But when you're wheeling it off to the bank in the barra, you don't want to know, do you? What's going on? Shh, shh, shh. Oh, Mary. It ain't good enough, your Leave him alone, Joni. You don't know where he's been. Joan? Yeah, I'm here, What do they want? Gil! I want his dinner! What the hell is he talking about? Come on, Barry, leave him to his sordid way. That's Bob! I shall report you to the RSPCA! Come on! Let's go down the road, round the corner, and get a tin of meat. Good night, Gil! 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 Good night! Right, let's go. Keys. Oh, come on, keys! Keys? I want the keys. What are you... Get I'm down coming. Right. No, I'm coming. Okay. I'm coming. Tie her up, will you? Okay. That's all there is. Shut up. Yeah, of course, yeah. 
This is all your fault. I said, shut it. Oh, sorry. Here, yeah, it's Corral. Yeah, I know. Any more lined up behind you? Eh? Any more cunts say good night? No. You sure? Yeah, he's come for his liver. Do what? Nothing. You've been funny. No, it's the last thing in the world. We're not playing games, right? Yeah, I can see that. Come on, let's get on with it. On a floor, both of you. Stay for a month. I was. And? The strange things hotel rooms, aren't they? Loneliness cocooned in Central Eden. I've never enjoyed them. I find them rather comforting. I'm sure I would if I was sharing with someone like you. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. That was uncalled for. I couldn't resist it. You're looking very attractive. Robbie been in? No. Oh. That's funny. Lost him, have we? Where's the Welshman? Out the back. Uh, what are you doing tonight? Working. No, later. Going home. Sorry, I walk you. You're playing cards. Well, not all night. <clears throat> Where's Box? I don't know. Well, bottled up, does he? Probably found a better game. Well, look, I'll give him another quarter of an hour. If he's not here by then, we'll find yourself another mug. You're a great help, ain't you? Right. <laughs> 
Who's next? Johnny, give us your little. No, I had a steady job. When we made love, it was in between him coming home in the mornings and me going off to work. Not exactly what they tell you in the storybooks, is it? It can work. I lie, actually. There were the weekends. When a poker game wasn't in progress. Or if a horse wasn't heavily fancied, which you very be lost. I don't see how you got together in the first place. Something special about him, I suppose. I don't know. He could make me laugh. It was a cross between... Come on, Harry the Horse and Coco the Clown. Like a child, you know? To have been around as long as Methuselah. Well, I haven't come across any of that. <laughs> I don't suppose you have. Next time you see him, though, not that I suppose you will, but if you do... Look at his eyes. Almost as if the tears had been drawn on. You were very close, weren't you? Almost made it. Why didn't you? He decided to turn £10,000 into nothing. I see. He thought he could organise the world. Oh, God, I've been boring. I'm so sorry. I was just getting interested. No, I... I fly back on Monday. And the Turnbulls can't wait to get me. friend box right all together now one two three help 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 what's the matter with you dead round here at this time of night what do you suggest we do then well get untied all right Udini, you show us you rub it up and down like on the telly if this was the telly lassie there would have gone for help and be back by now my god Sunday tomorrow. I know, I know. I thought they were going to kill us. My horse was playing me up. And that gun went off. They shot my tannoy. Come off it, Gil. That was shot up years ago. I wonder how much was in the same. Oh, it was about five... Uh, Not in front of them. Have a good day, did you? Have a good day. No, no! No, no, no. It's good here, isn't it? Come on, somebody's going to be passing. One, two... myself a hand here. When an ulcer bursts, you know, you've had it. But make a found with burst ulcer. Well, if you don't feed them every two hours, they go funny. Well, wobble over there and help ferret with the liver. Don't you dare. That's disgusting. That's the best. Cost a fortune. Fresh. He'll only go for fresh. Shut up. Won't go for frozen, defrosted or not. Well, why won't he go for help? He's a racer, not a retriever. 
I don't believe it. Don't anybody whistle. You're a bit quiet. Me? No, the man walking behind you. Blues. Oh, I never discuss things like that. Superstitious. Here, how much does he pull in in that dump? The Welshman? Yeah. The vat will catch him one of these days. What about books? The only books he keeps are the ones out the library. <laughs> it's Robbie's head office. He spends morning, noon and night in there. Don't tell me you haven't got shares in it too. <laughs> so, uh, you gonna ask me back for one then? Coffee. <laughs> oh. Do you come here often, do you? <laughs> My fingers are numb. Oh, if this was the pictures, we'd have been out of here hours ago. It only goes to show, doesn't it? This was the pictures, you'd be Paul Newman, and I'd happily stop here for a month. <laughs> How are you two lovebirds getting on? All right. Oh! Stop me circulation. What you got out of the back, Gil? How do you mean? That might help. Biscuits? I'm not talking about your stomach. I'm talking about us. You must have something out there. Oh. Pliers. You got any pliers? Pliers? Yeah, pliers. What for? They got clippers on them, haven't they? Have they? Have you got any? Yeah. Where? Well, they're in my drawer. Or in the office. I'm not having you rumbling round the papers in my office. Leave it out, will you? Oh. Oh. I'll be back in an hour. Don't you go touching the papers oh. in my office. Oh. 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 He's going under Beaches Brook, and he's done it. He's moved. I'm ready for the winning. Oh, oh, oh. Up a bit. No, no, you missed it. Are you sure you can see, Ferret? Of course I can. Come on, try again. Now, come on, I've got a plane to catch. You just concentrate, I am, you? I am, I am. Right. right. Left. What? Left. You said right. Left. Left. This is an happening, though. Now, now, up a bit. A bit closer to her. Now, now, nearer, nearer. Right. Oh. 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 Almost. Oh. <laughs> Sir. But it's been in there for over an hour. The sergeant's a great one for details, sir. Yeah. Do you like a cup of tea? Uh, you see, look, I've got to meet someone. Can I come down to the police station later on? Afraid not, sir. <laughs> I 
And, uh, can you get the airport on that thing? Fantastic. So do I. I got you some tea. Oh, you got no champagne? No, I haven't. Oh, I'll have to settle for tea then, won't I? <laughs> Please contact the airport information. Miss Debbie Oliver from Sydney. Got held up. Aha! Uh -huh. In! Tommy? <laughs> Hello, love. <laughs> there you are. Oh, oh da! Oh. There you are, eh? Oh, lovely. Well, cheers, yeah. Jan. Yeah. We'll wait till you see her face. Go on. We will miss you, you know. Oh, yes, Jan, we will. Mm. <laughs> there. Yeah. Now, make yourself at home, love. Yeah. Sit down, Jan. I wonder who that can be. Yeah. yeah I'll go. Did you? Yeah. She just popped across the pole. It's good, right. isn't it? 
I thought you'd like it. Hey, you bastard! Cheers. You think this would solve everything, did you? Get Debbie back, get me back. Well, you couldn't have been further from reality. Princess, I only did it for you. You did it for me. You did it for you, for Robbie Box. I know how well, you're... I thought you... I know what you thought. And it doesn't make a jot of difference. I'm leaving tomorrow and nothing is going to stop me. Just give it a minute, Princess. I've been giving a minute ever since I first met you and it stopped, all right? It stopped for good. I should never have come back. I love you. Don't talk rubbish! You love you! It's always been me, me, me. Well, now it's me! And I'm not having you meddling with my life anymore, right? And the best way I can avoid that is to get out of your life and get as far away as possible. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, right. Stop it, will you? John! Just stop it. Whatever you say or whatever you think, he did it for you. He did it for all the right reasons. And I think that's bloody marvellous. Oh, Debbie, you don't... however you feel, you've got to recognise that. You can't run away from him. You're only running away from yourself. You can't wipe out this relationship as though it was a bit of old chalk on a blackboard. Debbie, it's none of your business, all right? It doesn't concern you. It doesn't concern me. It doesn't concern me. It's half my life as well, you know. It's been more of my dad than dad. Doesn't concern me. I've grown up with him. Look, for all the things he's got wrong, and I'm not denying that that's 90% of the time, the other 10% he's got right is worth the whole bloody lot. I know he lied, and I know he thought he'd con me. But I knew he needed me. He did it for the right reason. That's why I came. Oh, Mum. Everything wrong, I know, but I think for the right reason, so I'd better tell you. The fare. Well, what about it? For Debbie's ticket. I'll pay you back. I went to Sammy's. I hate you! Right, Debs! 